Guys, just imagine you're stuck in such a storm. So I'm here to tell you there's nothing to worry much. Physics is at your rescue, guys. So let us see how physics will help us and we should not worry that much. All right. So just ignore this sinking ship. Your ship is not going to sink because physics is at your rescue. So let's talk about the basics which are there in play. So to understand how the ship will not sink, so we need to first define some reference points which we'll be using to define the stability of the ship. All right. So just keep a note of it. We'll be talking about the gravity here. We'll be talking about buoyancy. And there is probably a new term for you guys. And that is meta center. Okay. So before I even talk in a very technical way, let me quickly introduce them or define them. So gravity is a point which acts as if the entire weight of the ship acts through it. All right, guys. The buoyancy point is a point which is nothing but the centroid of the submerged portion. So we have learned quite a bit about the gravity. We know that it will act through the center of mass okay however the buoyancy force what we have learned this is nothing but a buoyant force formula for that we learn in grade 9th as well as in grade 11th right we know that whenever something is partially or completely submerged in a liquid the liquid will apply an upward thrust and this is that buoyancy force so just like gravity can be acted as if it is acting through the center of mass. Similarly, buoyancy also there will be a point which will act as if the buoyant force is acting through it. And that point, my dear friends, is the centroid of the submerged portion. All right. So there will be a center line here. This is the center line. Okay. Line of symmetry, we call it. I hope you understand what is buoyancy and the gravity force here. Meta center is something that we will take up in the subsequent slides. All right. So let us proceed. Now, what you see here, I have taken a small boat here, okay, which is floating horizontally, let's say. Okay. Here you can see the center of mass. This is the center of gravity and the submerged portion is symmetrically distributed on the left hand side and the, on the right hand side. So the center of buoyancy through which the entire buoyant force will act will be on the cell line of symmetry only, which is the center line. Okay. So this is on a calm water body. But what if there's a storm and your boat turns a little bit. If the boat turns, let us say in the given direction, you can see there is more portion on the right hand side. So naturally the centroid of the submerged portion will shift on the right hand side and your buoyant force will act through this point, which is the centroid of what? It is the centroid of this portion, which is submerged. Okay. So now what will happen? Clearly you can see there will be a rotation happening, isn't it? If you look at this center of mass through this point, this force will try to rotate it back to its original position. Okay. So basically what I can say, since 
there is no upward motion there is no upward acceleration as such we can say that gravity force is equal to the buoyant force but in this case there will be a rotation back to the original position okay so the situation is something like this my dear friends it is like this you have a rod let us say and the two ends there are let us say springs okay if you try to rotate this rod the rod will take up this kind of shape but the force from this spring is downward the force due to that spring is upward so as soon as you leave it it'll try to go back so that is what is happening here there is a spring like action over here which tries to go back to its original shape or which tries to make sure that the boat goes back to its original shape all right so let us take few more variations here look at this in this case look at what is happening the boat has tilted so much that the center of the uh, buoyant force is shifting on the left hand side now the buoyant force is acting through here and the gravity force is on the right hand side of the buoyant force now tell me will this buoyant force help the boat to go like this or the buoyant force will try to rotate the ship like that exactly now the buoyant force is not helpful the buoyant force will further topple the ship so whatever kind of storm is there it should not rotate it like this okay now suppose let us take a situation just for a fun if you have a small boat like this and you went to the edge of it now when you go towards the edge what will happen if i take you and the boat together your center of mass will not lie on the line of symmetry because you also have some mass so your center of mass would probably shift let us say over here which is also the point where the centroid of the submerged portion is lying now this is a position my dear friend which is a critical position because you go little bit this side and the boat will topple completely or if you go that side then you will be back to the safety all right so i hope you are getting little bit sense of what i am talking about here we will talk it in little bit more detail so just to take a mathematical view over it let us consider these three situations in first situation you can see there is this i'll put a red line here this is the line of symmetry on which the center of mass is lying and when this boat has tilted a little bit the center of buoyancy which is here okay now if i draw if i draw a line vertically like that then wherever my vertical line intersects the red line that is the meta center my dear friends so now i hope you understand what is a meta center all right now if you take this as meta center then this distance g to m is important so mathematically if you see here if g to m if you go towards g to m and m is above g then the situation is safe situation or you can say positive or stable whatever you may want to call it in fact 
it is not stable though it is just so that it is going towards the stability after this because you can see this buoyant force will try to rotate it back to the safety over here g to m distance is zero so it will remain like this until a little bit of disturbance will shift the buoyant force further this side or the center of buoyancy a little bit that side so that will decide the fate of that however in this situation where the meta center is below the center of mass it will not help us it will keep it rotating and the boat will sink so now i hope you understand why it is called positive this is called neutral and why this is called negative all right now here there is one important thing you can see there is this g to z distance all right so if you take this z to z distance your buoyant force is acting through this line all right so your buoyant force through the center of mass is applying a torque and this is the perpendicular distance so if g to z distance is there or you can say if it is positive it is positive i am taking g to z distance to be positive only when the z is on the right hand side of g so if it is positive it implies that if this is positive then it implies that i will go back to the safety all right so now the point here is that i am taking the position of the meta center fixed but as this angle of tilt increases the meta center also moves because of the construct of it so you can see on the other slide over here as you tilt the meta center from here shifts there then further tilt meta center from 20 degree it goes to 45 degree it comes down here so like this meta center keeps shifting its location so that makes this study little bit more complex but for our purpose we will take meta center position to be fixed however in real case what happens meta center keeps shifting and this is the kind of graph that you will observe with respect to g to z okay so g to z as long as it is positive you can go back to the safety and there is a large degree of tilt that your boat can accommodate here okay so you are safe in a storm till you are rotated by a tremendous angle let us say 80 degree or 70 degree something like that okay so don't worry when you are a ship and the storm is shaking you up just keep calm right so thanks for watching the video this is dhiraj from centum academy signing off